Russell Wilson says he opened doors for black quarterback. Wow. Anyway, <laughs> damn, so much so much for what Doug Williams did. Okay, but anyway, Shaq Harris, Marlon Briscoe. But anyway, I think one of the biggest blessings of my career so far is I've been fortunate to be able to open doors for others. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, so what role did Doug Williams play? Yeah. The first African-American quarterback to actually get to and win the Super Bowl and won the MVP. What about Joe Gilliam? So what did Marlon Briscoe do? So they opened no doors. It was you. When I talked Nightcap, I created this Ocho. Hey, hey, you ain't got no part of this Ocho. I I did this with Nightcap. Mm-hmm. Huh? You are right. You know, you have to you have to get credit where credit is due for those that paved the way before you before you came. Yes. I think hold on. No, 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 no. Uh Ocho. I see where they're coming from. Uh-huh. And I see where Russell is coming from too. But I think he was saying it like this. His part in paving the way is almost like Marlon Briscoe, Doug Williams, all these great players, Warren Moon, Randall Cunningham, Michael Vick, you know, uh, Steve McNair, these quarterbacks, somebody has to pass the torch on. He did his part. He did he, his part. He didn't open the door, he kept it propped he kept, he kept He kept his toe yeah. in the doorway. Okay. Y'all come on in. I can yeah. say the same thing, Yeah. but we not going to do that. You dig what I'm saying? Because the topic is about right. making sure that you do your due diligence with keeping opportunity flowing for the next generation. I do think Russell Wilson did his part in doing that. That's mm-hmm. what I can commend you. So shout out to Russ. Ease up. Um, Come on. Ease up. Because everybody in a three-time Super Bowl winner and Ocho, everybody can't play FIFA and – you know, have that. I'm just teasing. But, uh, yeah, I see what he was saying. And I think we all have to do our parts. And wow. I think the game is in a better place by having a Russell Wilson have entered the NFL. What do you think he adds, though, to that legacy? Because everybody got something they add to. When Russell Wilson won the Super Bowl, I think he became the second African-American quarterback to win a Super Bowl. Mm. That's it. So, that's not. It's not like a little feat. That's yeah, so yeah. Yeah. Now, some would say it wasn't him who won. It was the. Yeah. It was Percy Harvin. Yeah. But, but he ain't lose it either. He ain't lose it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big J TV. I'm hitting y'all with a double piece, a double. You know what I mean? And if you're new here and you have uh, never been here, I want you to smash a like, the like button. You know what I mean? I, I want my people to show love. I appreciate everybody who's returning. And unfortunately, I don't know what's going on, but my viewers are not getting notifications, at least my subscribers. Um, turn on that post notification bell, man. Turn on that post notification bell. I'm going on a blitz to end this month, man. You know what I mean? I want to really, really show and put out great content for y'all. So if you're subscribed, please Click the post notification so that y'all are aware when I post uh, and new people. Yeah, y'all hit that like button, man. And if you're really feeling it, you better better tap, better tap that, that subscribe button right next to it. But let's talk about it. Uh, Cam Newton disagrees with Shannon Sharp and his criticism of Russell uh, Wilson. Or some people will say Russell Weirdo. <laughs> I took that from Coach JB uh, from Last Chance U. But let's really talk about it. So here's the background. Russell Wilson was voted in Essence Magazine as one of the sexiest men right now. I think they can't say sexiest man alive because that's owned by People. People Magazine. And this is something y'all will learn about me. I've always been a fan of magazines. I'm not buying tabloid magazines me i like magazines like gq and esquire i've always liked them always supported them and within these magazines right they show they have um they have interviews with the cover person or at least uh you know some kind of celebrity some kind of athlete and when they were interviewing russell wilson they were talking about his impact as a football player and he said that he uh was a trailblazer for black quarterbacks right and because of this, uh, Ankh and Ocho, they reacted to this on Nightcap. A few 
days ago, a few nights ago, and uh, Unk went on a on a big rant, like on a very aggressive rant about how nah disagreeing, saying hell nah, Russ, you were not, you are not that, you didn't really pave the way for nothing, right? And a few days later, Russ went on his um, on his Twitter and basically said Twitter uh, our ex as it's known now. And basically said, bruh, you got me out of context. You didn't read the full quote. You read the headlines. Long story short, on Cam Newton's, you know, show, he basically did a reaction to it. I put it at the front end of the video. And I think that this is great that, you know, Cam did this because Cam is more closer to the game. And Cam was in and still, well... You could argue still, and he was in Russell Wilson's era. You know what I mean? And he played against Russ. And, you know, they're contemporaries. They're dudes who were in the league, running the league around the same time. And I salute Cam for disagreeing with Unk because I myself fully disagree with Unk. Because of Russell Wilson, right, you saw a style of football, or at least a prototype of what a lot of teams in the league are doing right now. Meaning they're drafting quarterbacks who are ready to fit in as starters right away so that they don't hit the cap, you know, have a huge cap hit. They're on their rookie deals and they win a Super Bowl or contend for Super Bowls on their rookie contract. You see a lot of GMs following this. And number two, Russ was a true dual threat quarterback, right? who relied a lot on his legs to improvise and extend plays, right? And then throw the ball. I'm not saying that he was the first to do that or one of the first, no. But at his height and his measurements of being like 5'10", about 200-some pounds, this was a new kind of quarterback. Because especially in Russell Wilson's era, man, it was tall, big, long, lanky, stand-in-the-quarterback type guys, man. You had your Matt Ryans, you had Joe Flacco, you had Phillip Rivers, obviously Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, Cam Newton. You had a bunch of quarterbacks who were standing in the pocket, obviously dissecting uh, dissecting coverages and finding the open man. You know what I mean? Not saying that Russ can't do that, but Russ was really dynamic because he had Marshawn Lynch in the backfield. And him, so you had two threats of the run happening on every single play. And at any point, if Percy Harvin was open, he would launch that ball to him. Doug Baldwin was open, he would launch that ball to him. And the proof was in the pudding because the Seattle Seahawks were an amazing dynasty. And you can't say that it wasn't because of Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson was a huge part of it. And people are now hating on Russ because obviously he's not had good in recent seasons. He hasn't been that good. But how quick are we to forget that he was a reason that the Seattle Seahawks were were that good? He wasn't even supposed to start, bro. He was a third round pick that elevated into being a multiple Pro Bowl level quarterback as Hall of Fame. He's a Hall of Famer right now. When it's all said and done, he's a Hall of Famer. He's the second black quarterback, like Cam Newton said, to win a Super Bowl starting black quarterback. It was Doug Baldwin, the only person. Doug Baldwin won it in the late 70s, man. And then, you know, uh, Patrick Mahomes showed up and has won three Super Bowls. But before, (laughs) there was a guy called Russell Wilson, man. And you could even argue that, you know, Patrick Mahomes is not black. You can say he's mixed race, which is an accurate description, though, because he's not just one race. You know what I mean? I'm going to be real with you. I thought for the longest time, I thought Russell Wilson was a Polynesian, man. I thought he was Samoan. But turns out, yeah, his parents are black. He is a black man, right? And, you know, when individuals like Unk are steady, you know, downing him and and diminishing him it gets personal it's very very personal because russ was with the broncos and apparently the broncos organization did not like russell wilson so obviously 
Unk, who has won two Super Bowls with that franchise, who's known as a Bronco, is going to keep hating on him. It's like this, uh, the old lineman, Mark Schlereth. You know what I mean? He never liked Jerry Judy. So it's personal when he criticized Jerry Judy. See, a lot of these ex-players, and uh, 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 when they're analysts, they can't necessarily be as objective, right? They can't necessarily be as an outsider. They have their loyalties, and that's okay. They can't be unbiased, and that's okay. That's most evil, but... It gets ridiculous when it goes so biased in the other way that it almost ruins your credibility. I'm not saying that Unk has no credibility. He has a ton of credibility. But he also has personal beefs and vendettas, specifically with Russell Wilson. And shout out Cam for kind of calling it out. Not everybody is going to be a three-time Super Bowl winner. Not everybody is going to be a top five tight end of all time. Not everybody is going to be in the hall of fame but that doesn't mean they didn't leave an impact you have guys like kyler murray drafted number one overall 510 i think he's even shorter than russ you have guys like bryce young 510 he might even be shorter than russ and he's definitely skinnier than russ you have baker mayfield borderline six foot maybe 511 and those guys came after Russ. Why? Because Russ showed a prototype that you don't have to be a 6'5 statuesque quarterback to win. Cam Newton is borderline 6'6, 250. Black male. Obviously black as hell. Shout out Cam. Never won a Super Bowl. And probably never will. But guess who has a ring at home? And he has Sierra at home. So that's a double win. <laughs> So I kind of see why Ankh is hating a little bit, you know what I mean? And guess what? I have a feeling that Russ will be really, really good in the media. He might even become a politician. Who knows? Russ might even become a president. Who knows, man? He has a slimy political way. He's a politician already in the in the league. So who knows? But uh, Ankh was hating. Um, it's kind of weird. I don't like it, but it is what it is. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Was Russ really, really a trailblazer? Or uh, is Uncle right? He wasn't. Big JTV, man. Like, comment, sub, I'm out.